Hello in process. I'm back with the answer for the simple question which of the system is not steady state. And now I will explain you about this answer, but before proceeding to that, I would like to share with you how it comes to life. So a friend of mine asked me in LinkedIn the following question. So recently I have studied material balance equation. My question, how to find system is steady state. What is accumulation of system when to be zero or n non-zero condition? I hope all is well with you. Thanks. So let's remember what is steady state in thermodynamics. In thermodynamics, steady state is the is that circumstance in which there is no accumulation of mass or energy within the control volume and the properties at any point within the system are independent of time. Steady state is a more general situation than dynamic equilibrium. So, to summarize, if we have no accumulation inside the boundaries, we have a steady state conditions. If you are not uh, in process yet, I did the survey there in my Telegram group. It's very small up to now. And 76% of people uh, get the right answer. The correct answer is system A. is not a steady state. I will explain why that. And if you would like to be part of in process, search in Telegram or click in the link that is in the description of this video. Do not take much of your time. I redraw the, the two systems. I'm using here the Microsoft, Microsoft Visio. It is very useful to do process flow diagram. It's very intuitive and I will not explain about the software itself today. So just to remember you about the drawing, I have a vessel separator. So the system is quite similar. However, in, in one of them, in the A system, I have a level switch and a on-off valve. While in the system B, I have a level transmitter and a controller and a, a diaphragm and a diaphragm valve. Getting closer, it's easier to, to see the, the representations and the symbols. So I have a feed stream. It can be a gas or it can be two phase flow or it can be liquid, no, no matter. Don't worry about that. What it is important to us is that after the control valve, it goes to two phases and we have a vessel separator because we believe that can be liquid downstream the control valve. And the system B is the same. We have a feed stream and a control valve. And after that, two phases forms and liquid, we always represent liquid at the bottom and the gas phases from the the top and you can see more detail about the the level transmitter here and the control of level and the diaphragm valve here and the difference between both of them are in the design of the control system while the level switch here will have a on off valve the level transmitter will will have a control valve and let's see what is the difference considering the action that it happens in a on off valve or in a on off controller we don't have a set point so what happens is that when the level touch the level switch the valve will open 
and the liquid will start to drain and in this case after some time the drain valve will close automatically and the liquid level will start to increase again and you can see that for some period of time you will have accumulation of liquid inside the vessel so you will build level and after a period of time you will have fluid flow in the liquid line so it is not a steady state condition because sometimes we have accumulation of mass inside the vessel and sometimes we have the flow of fluid in the boundaries so in the system A just to to take some some numbers here for instance we may consider that we are feeding with 100 kilometers per hour per hour of something and in the gas phase would be 99 kilograms per hour and in the liquid phase would be the difference between the what is going out from the gas phase and the feed one and in the startup you will not have a liquid inside the, the vessel but as we are operating the plants as there is this liquid accumulation the level of this vessel will start to build up so little by little it will build up and we don't have in the during this time we don't have liquid flow at the bottom in this case while we are building why while, while we are building level inside the vessel separator the liquid flow is zero so you can see that in the boundaries we are going we are coming with 100 but we are going out only with 99 and zero in liquid and 99 in gas so we are building mass accumulation inside the boundaries of our system so it is it is not a steady state condition okay and once the level reach the level switch the the level switch will send a electric command to the automatic valve and it will it will open and when it opens the vessel level will start to decrease and as we have only a level switch it, it will have a timer so after some seconds for instance the automation guy with the the assistance with of the process guy will define the best uh, time interval interval to to set the controller so for instance, five seconds later, after the valves opens, it will closes alone or automatically. And once it closes, little by little, the level will increase again, and it will continues to happen all the time in the process. This kind of of control is used when we do not is expect to have liquid all the time or if the liquid that comes with the gas is very very little there is no much liquid inside so we always start the we will start the automatic valve to open in few 
few times per day or few times per week. If we are handle a liquid line, e, e, e we need to to control the level, it is not the best the best control to do that. And another issue here is that as we have a vessel separator, we always need to to have a a seal of liquid here in the vessel. And that is important because if we open the the automatic valve without a seal of liquid, gas will go through the liquid line and that can become a hazard and an accident can can happen because of that. So so every time that you are handle a separator vessel and we are controlling a gas line or you have a gas line you make sure that you have a liquid seal in your vessel before you open the drain valve it doesn't matter if you automatic or manually you always need to make sure that you have a seal of liquid liquid there okay so let's go to the second system the second system is quite the same of the first one however we have a level transmitter in fact in this case we have a level indicator transmitter and it means that we can monitor the level from zero to 100 percent and we can set a set points to control which is the best level for us so let's see the graphic for this system so we have here in the green line represent the set point that we that we wish to control and the OT represents the the valve travel opening so it is the percentage of opening in this valve in this case and the PV is the present value is the value that is cur currently happening in that time so is the it can be called also the instant instantaneous uh, parameter okay so uh, depending on the on the tuning of your control system what will happen is that in the startup you don't have any liquid level in the vessel separator and once the process begins we start building up level in the vessel and when it reaches the set point the valve starts to open to prevent the overflow of the the vessel separator and once the valve opens the liquid starts to decrease and until up to a uh, control if it, it is well tuned the both lines will be in steady state what this means is that it will be uh, in a constant flow of fluid or almost constant and we can consider in this case that we have a steady state condition because what will be coming in to the to the separator vessel for instance 100 will be equal of the sum of the strings that is going out in this case the operation will be run running smoothly and and because of that as we have in the definition we will we will not have the accumulation of mass inside inside the boundaries and so this is a steady state con conditions there are other considerations to be done when we are sizing or developing a vessel separator system is that one of them is to prevent the liquid to 
to go out from the top so we usually have or always have a, a level switch high high that means if we reach the high high level the plant will shut down to prevent the entrance of more liquid to the system so in this case if we have here uh, if we have here a high high level this the feed valve will close to prevent any other material stream inside the vessel and we can see here in, in this case in non on off system is the same the philosophy could be if the valve still opens after more than 10 seconds it could be it could represent that it could represent that the the vessel is increasing its level so it's better to shut down the plant so in in normal condition the level will build up when it reaches the level switch the valve will open and the level will will go down however if for any case let's suppose that let's suppose that the automatic valve didn't open because it was struggled or uh, if we have a manual valve here that was closed and we although we have the control valve open although we have the on off valve open the manual valve is closed so the level will continue to build up and in the logic after some minutes some seconds we, the plant will shut down so it will close this valve automatically in order that we don't have any more feed stream to the vessel so in this video you were able to understand more uh, about the control systems of a separated vessel and you could see the chemical engineering principles applied to plan design and to finish this let's see the the control trends and the system that it is associated on so in a plant that you have a on off valve when it closes when it is closed the ot is zero it means that the travel is in the zero position and when it is it is open it goes to the 100 position so it is full open there are some more details to know about that but in general it is what happens sometimes it is the inverse but i will not talk about that right now just assume that zero is closed and 100 is open so when it it's closed there is a level increase and when it's open there are level decrease and it cycles continues in the plant and in the level control we have a steady state condition so we start building level and once the control valve is well regulated the flu the flow of of liquid that comes into the vessel is the same that goes out so here we finish this lesson for today and for the members of my in process telegram channel i will let available this this presentation so i will generate the pdf of this presentation and i will let that for you to evaluate and think about what we have learned here today so thanks a lot my friends and i hope to see you soon in the uh, next video